Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a video that I haven't done yet on my channel, and that's a shoe unboxing, of course, you can tell by the title. Um, but I ordered these shoes from gojane.com, and I had shopped there uh, for some other stuff before, just clothes, so I had never bought shoes off of there before. And um, you know that I go to the club every week, and I have to be Gaga. Lady Gaga! <laughs> Not really, but that's kind of like the style that I like to um, portray. And I heard that they had um, a lot of different nice shoes. It's almost like, if you've never heard of Gojane, it's almost like a Forever 21 where you can just get like really nice things for um, not so much expensive prices. Like how I was telling you, Ramui would um, get like Black Milk inspired stuff for like half price. Um, so that's really what... Go Jane is and um, with their shoes and everything it's the same like you get really um, edgy kind of shoes and the brand that I ordered from is um, privileged brand uh, shoes which is again it's like more edgy style um, shoes and just definitely my style um, so I really wanted a pair of heelless shoes for the longest time but I couldn't decide whether um, like kind of which brand I wanted and Jeffrey Campbell's are like way expensive like I'm not really pressed on spending 200 to 300 dollars for shoes that I'm really not wearing all the time um, and I figured I would do some reviews on GoJane and saw that they were like fairly good quality for only you know a couple of uses or whatever but that's enough damn rambling about those fucking shoes so I will just show them to you these are the shoes that I got um, these are the heelless platform cross studded booties and um i really like them these are in the black obviously um they come in a few different other colors i want to say red blue and um almost like a beige color and when i saw these online they kind of reminded me of a cross between um jeffrey campbell has a cross styled shoe like this called i think just the cross stud or something and it's in the shape of this they also have it in the damsel style as well with the cross studs at the back and then in the front it kind of reminds me of the hellbound by unif with um these kind of i i don't really know how you call it but i think it's like a roller skate or ice skate how those are um laced up it's got that style and these rainbow um this rainbow shoelace um and of course it has the heelless design like i had wanted and then a side zipper as well um so i just thought that these shoes were really edgy it goes with my style a lot obviously i wear like you know crosses and stuff and i thought these shoes were very gaga so they would go good with like lots of outfits that i would wear and stuff now the jeffy campbell shoes that i had mentioned earlier i believe that those are about um between two and three hundred dollars and these ones were only like 100 so i would much rather pay that price for something that i'm not really gonna wear like i'll wear it to the clubs a bunch of times but i'm really not gonna wear it out or anything maybe i will i don't know but anyway the um box itself came shipped here um just in like this bag it's just a go jane bag with the shipping information on the back and then um it came in this nice box. I mean, the box is, like, a little damaged. I mean, under here it has, like, a hole, and it's just, like, kind of ripped and disgusting. But um, other than that, it's a nice box, and it just says Privileged by JC Dossier. I don't know, maybe the designer. But, um, yeah, they just came wrapped in, like, you know, they have um, paper in them so they won't lose their shape and wrapped in, you know, almost wax paper or something. And it did come with an extra pair of laces, which is cool in case you don't like the... Um, rainbow laces that it already has on it. I usually wear a size 9 in men's shoes, so I ordered these in a size 10. Um, they say that you are supposed to size up two sizes, but um, for these kind of shoes, I feel like I want them to be a little more snug than a normal shoe, so that way I feel like I can walk um, better. And so when I tried these on, they fit perfectly a size 10. So if you like that more snug fit and you're like a boy going to girl sizes, just go up one size. Um, these fit perfectly anyway. I know that some shoes are like kind of true to size and some run small, some run big, but these just fit me fine in a size 10. Of course, a minor flaw that some people might find disappointing is that this cross, like the studs on the back, you can see, and it even shows it in the picture online, so I'm really not tripping on that, but um, they're like kind of crooked. I mean, they're not really like um, 
straight or like pressed or whatever but if you have it from back here you get the idea it doesn't really matter they're probably going to fall off anyway as i'm dancing i mean that's what happened to those shoes that i showed you i had like the platform ones that i got from uh christmas those fucking fell off like the day i wore them to the club so i mean whatever but you know if you care about that but i really like the lining of the um but i really like the lining of the shoes and i'm just gonna try to show you as best i can but they're like it's black on the inside with like red skulls. I think that that's awesome. So um, that's what the inside looks like. Of course, I have not worn these shoes out to the club yet, but I plan to um, this Thursday, which today's Wednesday, so I'll probably wear them out tomorrow. Um, but I'll let you know maybe in a up future update or vlog how they held up at the club. And these fucking laces, they bug the hell out of me because I tried them on and like I've never had laces like this, so it just like comes undone like a ribbon and now they look ugly as hell but whatever I'll figure out a way to fix them but of course I'm gonna try these on for you guys and I'll put a little clip of that at the end um but so far I'm really satisfied and if you definitely are looking for some edgy type of shoes they have tons and tons on their website gojane.com um for really cheap and you can find other heelless ones just like this that aren't so expensive I told you these were a hundred dollars but they have heelless booties for like forty dollars so it's really a great um alternative if you're into the more edgy look but don't want to pay like the $200 that other um, companies charge. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.